What's going on guys, Austin Nerd Show here, and today we're opening some more Marvel Legends. This time we have the Walmart exclusive Luke Cage pack that includes Luke Cage and Claire Temple. So this is again another Netflix series, or Netflix series um, fig uh, figures here, <laughs> I don't know how you say. These figures are from the Netflix series of Luke Cage, so that's what these are from. So we've done a couple Luke Cages before and they all pretty much look the same, so we're not going to get much of anything new or different going on there. But this one of course comes with the Claire Temple and some stuff for her and everything, and this is a Walmart exclusive exclusive set so let's go ahead and get into it and so first we'll start with the Luke Cage again because this is very similar to all the other Luke Cages we've done like this is almost exactly or the exact same one as we got from that uh, Defenders Rail Authority the Comic Con exclusive pack except I'm pretty sure he had a red shirt on it compared to the yellow which of course the yellow goes kind of with like the classic Luke Cage look and everything but otherwise it's the exact same figure and this um, box pretty much is all about the Claire Temple not so much the Luke Cage they just kind of threw him in so here is a look of course of Luke Cage so there's his face and everything again looks a lot like the actor to me and stuff I think they do a really good job at getting um, the actor portrayed in these Luke Cage figures and stuff it looks a lot like the guy and everything so I really um, like how they do that then of course we have his yellow shirt as I mentioned there again that kind of goes along with like the classic comic book look of Luke Cage with the yellow shirt and everything yellow is a part of his collar and stuff and then go down, so on this side he's got nothing on his arms, so he's just playing, just all muscular and everything. Then on this side they threw in the watch again, that um, Comic-Con figure had this on too, which I do believe you can take the watch off. Oh, I think you just have to pull his hand off and then you can take the watch on and off and everything, so if you want to do that you can. Then go down, he's got just a pair of blue jeans, All it is all it is, nothing too special going on there, just a pair of blue jeans and then a pair of boots, you know, for kicking ass and everything. But movement-wise he's got all the classic movement stuff, so as you can see he's got got the ab crunch there for shoulder he has some shoulder movement which um, depending on how you get the arm which looks like these move pretty fine sometimes the joints here don't move so you can't get the arm up but this one does a pretty good move so it's got a ball joint there at the top so you can you know move the arm it has like a clicking I don't know this one clicks a little but it doesn't make the loud sound but yeah this one clicks as you turn it so it's pretty I guess uh, strong and stuff there then he's got the twist at the bicep there which looks like there are some pain issues there on the inside and stuff then he's got the double elbow joint there so more flexibility and of course the wrist can twist around and has a little bit of bend to it as well and I forgot to mention the neck as well can twist and all that um, then he can twist at the waist there then at the hip he's got the hip joint so he can you know move his leg around in all different movements then he's got the twist at the top of the thigh there a double knee and then the foot that can twist side to side and everything there like that to get a placement and everything so again nothing too special with this figure it's just kind of plain and basic doesn't come with any accessories as you know Luke Cage doesn't really have much accessories or anything because um, he's you know his own weapon and everything he doesn't need other weapons to go along with it so that's gonna be it for the Luke Cage then of course we get the figure that I, like I said is what this whole box is about is the Claire Temple here so here's a look at her up close so of course she's played by Rosario Dawson in the Netflix shows um, to me this does not look like her it's not like too far off but it like if you looked at that I wouldn't be able to tell who the actress is or anything from the face so they didn't do too good of a job on her compared to Luke I think looks really good but there's a look at her face there then of course she's got the um, sculpted hair here that's all nice and flowy and stuff I like when they do that hair instead of just making you know just perfectly straight they make it where it looks like it's flowing and almost how hair naturally would be on someone um, and so then going down she's a pretty plain figure though which is kind of disappointing so then she's just in an all black like top here so long sleeve top um, again it's just all black it's got some button ups there at the um, by her chest and everything which is hard to see there you can see that so then yeah just long sleeve so it goes all the way down to her wrist and then she's got some dark blue jeans or I would say blue jeans could be leggings something like that because if you look you can see some of her ankle there right at her shoe and there um, so they could just be some sort of like yoga type pants or something I don't know but they're a dark blue color then she's got these black shoes on there look like a uh, you know some sort of like a uh, running shoe or something like that um, so movement wise so of course she has the head movement for their hair limits some of the movement there so she can't move all the way um, then we've got the shoulder joint which again because of the way it's designed it can only go up you know so high and stuff because it like his start it's hitting so you can't move it up much higher than that. It's got this single elbow joint there. So again, it's just like the ball. So it can twist around and everything. And then it can bend back and forth like that. Then she's got the wrist. Again, that can spin around and flex and everything. Which is pretty loose. So it moves pretty easily. And then she's doing, of course, some with her hand. I don't know what she's supposed to be doing with her hand in that sort of 
shape looks like she's just gripping for something and so same on the other side then she does have the um, part right under her chest which doesn't have much movement she can't twist much to the side and then she has just a little bit of back and forth movement like it's not a whole lot at all no waist movement or anything but then to the hips here she does have you know a little bit of movement in her hips um, again limited on the range of movement though then the twist of the thigh upper thigh there the double knee joint and then the foot of course that can twist and flex back and forth like that so again not a whole lot of stuff going into these figures that's one reason why I don't like the Netflix characters because they don't have a whole lot going into them um, but unlike Luke she comes with a lot of accessories so first thing she comes with are a pair of gloved hands since she is night nurse or nurse by night night nurse something like that and nurse Claire Temple which is a mixture of Dr. Claire Temple and night nurse from the comics and stuff is kind of what she's portraying here and so she's since she's a nurse and she takes care of Luke Cage and she's been on Daredevil and Iron Fist and all sorts of the different Defenders characters um, she does have gloved hands you know like rubber gloves as doctors and nurses wear and stuff to take care of people so she has both of those that you can switch on if you want as well um, I don't really see the point of having those but they threw those in there she does come with a purse or yeah a purse I was going to say like a backpack or something so you can you know put this over her um, so she can like wear I don't know if it goes on a certain way or direction or certain side but you can put that on her so she has the bag there so she you know has like a purse on and then the cool thing she comes with are hands with these blades on again I don't know what these things are called they look you know like Wolverine claws but obviously they have four instead of three like Wolverine and I've seen these you know in like uh, um, I want to say like martial art type things where pe uh, sometimes people wear these to fight and stuff. They just are claws that strap onto your hand and then you can fight with them. You know, like Wolverine and everything. So you can put these on our hands, which look a lot cooler. So I assume in one of the shows, again, I don't watch the Netflix very often. I've seen a couple episodes of like each season, but I don't pay enough attention. Like I've seen her before, so I know who she is and stuff. But I don't know what these came from or what season. I would assume Luke Cage, since that's what she's here with is the Luke Cage and stuff. But not exactly sure. But but I think that's really cool that they actually gave her some weapons here and stuff to, you know, add some more dimension and stuff besides just a, um, just a lady and stuff like that. So that's going to be it for this set of Luke Cage from the Netflix series, the Walmart exclusive pack of Luke Cage with Claire Temple. Again, Claire is pretty much the whole reason this is a nice exclusive set and stuff because we've got a bunch of Luke Cages and this is a new character with some stuff going on for her and Claire Temple and stuff. So that's going to be it for this review of the Marvel Legends set. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up for me and don't forget to subscribe to see more Marvel Legends videos and we'll see you next time.